I'm very low tech. one and then we'll probably jump to three. So what's your goal? Do you remember? To go into a room. What does it mean? You can go on the strings, everything. Um, I don't know how to explain it but I know. The same weight. The same weight on each string. Okay, sounds good. and you keep playing them until you hear that they are balanced for at least one, if not two, full beats. Think you can do that? Yeah. Try number two right there.
see how fast you can go. Ba-da! You can hold the top note really long, but see if you can treat it like a grace note. For now, it's just going to be one in a day, in a week. Um, okay, so you learn number one. You have to do things like check the key signature. What else could you check? The time signature. Mm-hmm. Good. And the rhythm. Yeah. Like looking at it and seeing if there's anything funky yeah. that you need to work out, right? Yeah. All righty. Um. Then we'll do some more exercises. you figured out why it was starting to hurt. That's good. Like if you put your hand on the stove and it starts to hurt, why does it, would it start to hurt? Because the hand's on. Yeah, you do, you're like, oh, my hand is too hot. Yeah. All right. Wow, you must have been pressing really hard. And mm -hmm. sometimes I do this to my knuckles. Okay. Oh, did it pop out a joint? No, it's just sometimes I do it so if it's really hurt, feel I do it sometimes. Oh, okay. Does it feel better now or no? Yeah. Okay. It's a gentle thumb.
release, we'll put it in the review box, but I'm a little concerned that your thumb is hurting. I think, can you do, let's pick a piece, let's play, can we play chorus from Judas Night Bass? The whole time you're going to concentrate on having a gentle thumb. Okay. And, and, if you, and you're going to notice that it's pinching, and then if it is, you soften it up. saying no pain, no gain? No. Good, because it's really a horrible saying. I don't like that saying. Do you like pain? No. Me neither. Oops, I was about to write on this page. That would be a problem. Okay, Gavant, and then plus all your others, and then you'll do it with gentle thumb. Okay. And how do you know if it's gentle? You feel it. And I don't mean the pain, you feel if it's pinching. Right? You don't go, oh, it hurts now, I must relax. You have to go, oh, I'm pinching now, I must relax. Okay. All right. Should we, should we do some shifting? Yeah. Let's do the book two thing first. she's supposed to? I'll just give it, I'll just give her a hard time. Um, I have a question. You're listening to the exact poem in the recording that the sites can share though, right? Yeah. All right. So guess what I want you to do this week? She already did it. The comparison? Yeah. Oh, good. Do you have it? Give her your full report. Oh, it's in your head? You didn't write it down? Well, she I wrote it on her phone. Down, but... <laughs> oh, but it's on your phone. Okay. So tell um, me. But I remember that it's a One more thing. The orchestra. Oh yeah, and he played, and it's all plays it with the whole orchestra instead of the piano. Okay. Yeah. And do the, the do you have any comments about the other part? They play with the piano instead of an orchestra, but um, anything else that they do? I can't really tell quite. Okay. Anything. That makes sense. Okay, so here's your last assignment for it. And the last note of the concerto, the violin plays, and so does another instrument. And I want you to see if you can tell which one it is. Okay. On Itzhak or the? On Itzhak. Okay. Because for the, it's a, this is if you want it's violin and piano the whole time. Okay. But with the one with Itzhak, it's violin and parts of the orchestra. And I wonder which part of the orchestra is playing at the very end. Deal? Yeah. Alright, now, do your etude. The first one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that? No, where are you? Show me in the music where you, show me in the music where you are. Okay, what's, what's the name of that note?
So it's like on how you guys did on the exorcist thing. Uh, I do, I mean, do the ghost note. Yeah. However you practice it, do the ghost note if you feel like you need to to figure out where the note is. <laughs> Shortcut shifting. Okay. It's tricky, yeah. Shortcut shifting starts on a B and that one starts on a B. Five. swinging your arms or your ribs or both when you're trying when you're going up high. What do you think? I'm raising that down. My violin down. You're pulling your violin down? Yeah. Okay. What about your were your ribs or your arms? Were they, which one was moving? Or both? I feel like this. Okay. See if you can do it just your arms. this time. You swung less. You don't want to swing any more than you absolutely have to, but how's that feel? Good. Physically or is it comfortable? Yes. Okay. That was great. So what was happening was the first time I asked you to swing your arm, you moved your ribs a ton. And then gradually as you started to notice, you just moved less. So that was great. Okay. Did you have a question? But well, it's kind of a question. So, you know, I'm more of a cellist than a violinist. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can sort of play half of both. But on cello, you know, everybody, many kids, many people have this issue with the fourth finger sort of going, pointing towards the scroll. Um, oh, you mean like it leans this way? Like it leans Colors. that way. Uh -huh. And I'm curious if violinists, have that same problem it's not and when it ha when I see it if I see it I'm not saying Ella that I'm seeing it but um, you know if I were to see it what what would I'm just curious like how do you address that because it does seem like that's a, just the way our Ella you know kind of the way our fingers are shaped that they want to do that and then if they do that then it it might be out of tune at times um, right because you're always putting it down low, pointed low, as opposed to hovering right. in a it's beautiful, a it's a hard, you know, it's, it, but I'm sure it's more common on cello, but yeah. I do see it a lot, sometimes when I see Ella, but I see it in a lot of kids, 
all over the place. So it's not really exactly a specific Ella question. Mm -hmm. It's just a general question so about, if, but Ella's in the question too. Right. So if you, if we haven't talked about it in the lesson, you don't do anything. Okay. Um, because there's a number of things that play into it. Okay. One's strength, one's the height of the string, one's whether or not you're getting your arm around and that you're coming, your hands bringing the fingers at the right angle. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if the arm is in the right place, the hand is in the right place and you're still doing it, you check to see whether or not you're pinching too hard. And so it will get addressed in different ways. But, and, but part of it's strength and coordination and she might grow out of it. Is, um, when her hand gets bigger, that kind of thing. So, okay. but it's a it's a complicated thing because you can't really. It's not like cello in that you're so twisted here, you can't really control the angle of your finger as easily as you can on cello. So right, but I mean, I've been telling Gretchen for years not to do that, and she still does it. It's really you know, and I still see kids, violin kids, do it all the time too. Right. So it depends on what's causing it. I see. So that's that because that for both instruments it depends on what's causing it. But um, if for the cello, because you might be able to do some more specific ang hand angle adjustment to, to play it, but even, you know, and whether or not there's extra tension or whether or not there's there's some exercise like I do pinky rocks for something else, but that kind of thing can help with it. So I mean I don't know if you feel comfortable. Do you see that with Ella or I don't see anything that's going. She has a little bit of. Um, collapsing and she's got a lot of tension in the left ha hand that so I think the first thing is to take the tension out I see. and see where it lands and then when she stops pinching her thumb mm -hmm. then then the pressure from the pinky will be able to we talk about whether you're we used to do a lot, lot of um, thumb taps you know tap your thumb before you play mm -hmm. to see if it's loose just to yeah. you know and sometimes I used to ask her to play occasionally without her thumb yeah the problem is then you end up with tension up here yeah. Okay. Um, her strings are a little high, so mm -hmm. that will play into it. Which Joan fixed a little bit. Should I ask did her she, to fix it a little more? Did, did she say she completed the job and it measured right, or did she... I don't think she measured it. I think she just shaved it off a little and said, here you go. Okay. You want me to tell her Danielle wants her to do a little bit more? It's, you can tell her. It still feels higher than my violin, and my violin's a full size, so... Okay. Uh, but that, that can help. Okay. Go. You want that? All right. Um. Do eighth position. Eighth, eighth position. I'm, I'm sorry. Could, could and could you just answer one more? So when you say there's tension in the left hand, do you think it's new in the last couple months, or it's been there all along? I have no idea. It doesn't. She doesn't present. Usually, I can tell these things. I see. Like I can read that in in somebody, but her the fact that her thumb was hurting mm -hmm. was the the reason for that. She in general is a little bit tense, but she's not oh, like crazy okay. tense. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So the pain was the indicator. Okay. You ready? Eighth position. So now you're gonna have to swing your arm more than fourth position, but we don't want to swing any more than we have to. Did you swing your ribs, your arm, both, or neither? Did you pull? Did you pull your ribs over to get your arm over, or did you just move your arm? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's so much better. So much better. Yes. So only swing arm. And how did you fix that? You just noticed. All you had to do was notice. Mm -hmm. That was great. Mm. All right, book two. Let's start with that one when you do this. Book. This practice book? Yeah. I, I know, I just ran out today. I gave away my 
Last one, so I'm gonna have to order more. change strings it makes it harder. You want to try it? Last bow here. Obviously, if it's a long note, you need a lot of bow, right? But if it's not, you don't have to go too crazy. Um, and then try to do more dynamics with bow weight instead of bow speed. So um, when you want to play that note, I'm making things up really, but. You got me, hear me, go. 
got I get all got louder, excuse me. Right? Yeah. And so I just leaned more. I didn't have to use a lot more bow. So maybe you can or fast in general? I thought it was a little faster than I played it. Yeah, it, it was. I bet you can play it faster, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. If you worked at it? Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. All right. Questions about the trio? Because you, you, you um, got a couple of days practice in on it. Do you have, uh, you were a little frustrated at the last time we got together, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you were wishing it was easier. There's some confusion about which part you had, but we clarified that. Everybody has to take your turns. You've been playing first violin a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And the piece after all these three, you're gonna be playing first violin again. Mm -hmm. So you need to give other people a turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I don't think the confusion was over the first violin. Yeah, yes, it was. was. No, what was the confusion? It was the confusion was that Lena and Ella thought they had the same second violin part. Right, and that, I meant the parts. Yeah, it was the same thing. But she hadn't practiced it. And Lena had, so they both. Uh, I know that, yeah. but it, she wasn't trying to be first violin. Oh, I know, but I'm just talking about the first, we sort of rotate, so she hasn't been third violin, she's been second, she's been first. Yes, second. but Lena had it incorrect. Lena practiced the wrong part, actually. I don't actually know that that's true. I, 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 might I, I know that it. it's true. Okay. But I didn't want to interrupt the trio rehearsal. Since she had practiced it, it seemed logical for her to continue. Right. To play it since Ella hadn't practiced it. Gotcha. But yeah. she accidentally practiced the wrong, the wrong part. part. Um, I, because I think that I know that what's anyway. What? There, there's a lot of dynamics going on about what fairness and what part everybody wants. So I think that then I must have made a communication error last time because I did intend for Lena to play the second violin on, on that spot. So I maybe made a mistake last time when I passed the part. When I anyway. So it was well, or they wrote it down wrong. No, I'm saying I wanted Lena to play second violin on that piece. Oh, 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 okay. Yes. Yeah. Because because she had been had, she has had turns. Well, it was partially our fault because we were not here the time when you passed out the music. So um, the okay. music, right? Yeah, I don't remember so when you might we was have here said when that. At no, that I time. was here when she passed out that. Okay. Anyway. The point it's is. all got confused, and so it all it all worked out. But it makes sense for you to have a turn playing third violin. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um. The, do you get the bar talk? Yeah. Okay. So can you play all three pieces comfortably? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So I I just the reason I said something is because I wanted to clarify that I thought that the issue for Ella was something that we've been struggling with at home, which is when she's irritated with something mm -hmm. that she kind of shuts down. Mm -hmm. And that was what she was doing. In, yes, I could, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I want to have you do a new different tonalization today. We're going to do a new bow stroke to get you ready for the sides control. On the sides. You see what my bar is doing? be a little bit of a retake but the the bigger important thing is the lift so that we get that sparkly sound you hear the, the lift how it energizes the note yeah. mm -hmm. can we try that we're going to do that in tonalization we've done this in like a martini gavotte and stuff so let, let's review that
shoot and stuff. Okay. I was wondering if we could say something. So we um, meet next week for trio, next Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then we're off for two weeks. Two weeks off for everything, and mm -hmm. then we're back Christmas. on like the ninth or something. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take about. Thank you. Because when we come back, um, there's no um, group for the week of the seventh. But I'm going to send the notice after that. Thanks. I never knew you spelled it that way. So yes. there's no group when we come back? That first week, yeah. I'll send I will You'll send it out. Okay, good. Thank you.